A few weeks ago, we highlighted the story of Lake Baringo. The lake water levels are rising and locals have been forced to abandon their houses and move to higher ground. Just in case you missed that piece, you can find it on our YouTube channel, Tipang. But for those of you who watched the piece, you left behind great feedback. Many of you have questions and theories as to why the lake is rising. Now, we'll try to answer those questions in this video. Let's first start with an update. If you're wondering if the lake's water levels have risen even further, the answer to that question is yes. Kendro Teach, our contributor in Baringo, went back to the affected areas and documented even more devastation. Picture this. Roads that once linked the community to other towns have been cut off. Sections of major highways are now submerged in water. Imagine having to leave your car on the side of the road, pay for a boat ride to the other side of the road, then take a motorcycle to the villages. That's the reality for the locals in Baringo. And it's not just that. Locals have been forced to abandon their homes and businesses. Other amenities like schools and hospitals have been closed. It's now all about survival. Great question. Actually, this was one of the most commonly asked questions. It's true that other Great Rift lakes are also breaking their banks. Water levels of Lake Bagoria, Lake Naivasha, Lake Nakuru, Lake Elementaita, and Trukana are also rising. But could this be because of tectonic movements along the Rift Valley? Now, according to scientists, the rise in water levels could be attributed to two things. The first one is the near-field tectonic movement cycle, which causes water to be pushed up from the aquifers below the lakes and as a result increases the volume of water in the lakes. The fascinating bit about this theory is that this cycle can last between 25 to 40 years and this current cycle is said to have started in the year 1996. The second contributor to the rising water levels is the degradation of the catchment area surrounding the Great Rift Valley. The continuous cutting down of trees, especially at the Mao catchment, means that there is little water retention when it rains, so the rainwater drains downwards, carrying with it silt into the lakes, contributing to the rising water levels. So the probable cause of the rising water could be a mix of both tectonic movements and catchment degradation. However, both of these theories are being scientifically tested to find a solution to solving the problem. Another great question. Lake Baringo is known for its great biodiversity. It's home to hundreds of species of birds, crocodiles, hippos, snakes, warthogs, you name it. It's also home to the Rothschild giraffe also known as the Baringo Giraffe. Well, the Kenya Wildlife Service and Northern Rangeland Trust have started evacuating animals that are stranded on Logichoria Island. This is one of Lake Baringo's unique islands that are slowly being submerged by the water. Rangers have been traveling by boat, locating the animals and then tranquilizing them safely before moving them to safer and higher ground. KWS will be closely monitoring all animals moved from their original habitat. We have giraffes, we have impalas, and we have warthogs. When the lake level rises, it covers most of the grazing area where these animals can graze, and so the food density for the grazers and browsers is drastically reduced. So, the thoughtful decision has been made to save this wildlife and move them from the highland to the mainland, where they will have access to food and water at Libita. Climate change is an accelerator to the challenges currently being experienced. With prolonged drought and rainy seasons, residents have to adapt to extreme weather changes. Many of you have shared photos of your hometown experiencing similar changes, from Lake Trukana, the Nile in the Sudan, and even lakes in Uganda. If you want to learn more, we've got an interactive piece on our website. 
visit www.thebank.media slash climate to learn more. Now that we've answered most of your burning questions, we have a question for you. What environmental changes have you noticed around you? Leave a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.